guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to create an art journal piece and I have two art journals here and I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to work in. I'm going to grab a little lotion for my hands. My goodness, my hands are so dry from being in the garden and at work doing dishes so um quick do that okay so i got a whole bunch of stuff out on my desk and i have no idea how this is going to go it's just going to be fun play um i'm going to record part of it and some of it i'm just going to play music and just let you watch if you have questions or comments just check me below and i get back to everyone so here's the two art journals that i have we'll see which one i'm going to work in this napkin um, from Michelle, she sent me a whole bunch of them, and I can link the video above that uh, shows the haul that um, happened when she gave me all these cool napkins. Um, this one is definitely going to be in part of it. Um, my girlfriend Kathy gave me this napkin for my birthday and I thought I love this watering can and the sentiment there so that I think is probably going to go in it. I have some butterflies that are left over out of napkin that I saved and they were on top of a pile so I quick grabbed them. Those will probably go in it and that is from a um, bunny project that I made for Easter, a mixed media project, and I can try and link that above also. Um, sometimes I forget to link, but just go ahead and comment below and I will get you the information. I grabbed out these little paper bundles that I had in my big, big basket. I'm going to probably use some of that for collage. I got just a couple of pieces of paper here and then I always love to look at these when I pull them out of my stash and then see if it has anything to do with how I'm feeling for this um, piece of art and this one um, insect maybe because of uh, um, gardening interest I, I just like to look at uh, this type of stuff. Integrity. Ooh, that's a good one. So anyways, just uh, of course a piece of music paper and this has been dyed. It's got some really cool pink on it. I thought that might look cool. This was in there and I grabbed it out because it was sitting next to this. Can you see it? It's got some of that blue and some of that green and kind of splatters. So I thought that would be fun. And this is just from spraying, overspray on the project of something I was working on. Another piece of that paper. I have um, cardstock. And then I got two really cool stamp sets. I haven't really even opened them or smelt them. Do you ever smell your stamps? I do because I think some smell better than others. I think that when they smell um, like rubber, I think they're really, really good stamps. But look at how cool those are with the bird and the bees and the butterflies. I thought that might be really cool. And then I got this one. They're both by the same company and a company I don't buy a lot from. And what is it called? Craft Consortium. Craft Consortium is the um, name. This one has get a piece of paper. That doesn't help at all. Um, I guess I'll put it back on there. It's got some wildflowers, another bird, and a flower with a bee on it, a flower with a butterfly on it. So these might make an appearance in the project. Not sure. Going to set it aside. I'm going to set aside my whole pile here. And like I said, I'm going to um, get started and I'm just going to put music on and let you watch so that we can do this kind of quickly 
and if you have questions let me know um, I went through this art journal book and I'm almost ready to work on all the backs I've almost got all of the fronts filled up so that's kind of cool so I have one uh, paper here it has just this on the back and then when I saw that I was like well that's kind of neat too that might be an option to work on that one and then in this book this is an oldie I saw this page that just has splatters on it and then I thought ooh I'm not sure I can't decide so I'm gonna pull both of them out and as I'm getting my collage elements ready and my glue ready and my water all of those things I'll be thinking about that to decide which one of these two I'm going to use so you can um, you know let me know below which one you wanted me to use or if you want me to use the one I don't use next time and try something that would be kind of fun too so these are the options I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna pull apart my um, napkins I'm going to get out my mat medium my my things I want to create with kind of visualize a plan and you guys watch and we will do this kind of quick and like I said if you have questions let me know below I may stop in if something's going terribly wrong or terribly right just to say hey and keep you interested but um, yeah let's do this I think I got a lot of really fun things to play with all right have fun enjoy and I'll talk to you at the end for sure bye
wouldn't it be fun to be able to create that fast? What do you think of the project? I had no idea how this was going to turn out. And at some point, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to turn around. I've got to stop. But I kept going into the till the end, and I like it. I think it's pretty cool how it ended up. So here I'm going around the edges with my black marabou crayon, and it is almost empty. That really gets me excited when I use some of my craft products to the very end. Um, it means I can get new ones or use the ones that I have. So yeah, this one is pretty empty. I'm going to have to throw it away. And I will go ahead and use a similar one. And it's called a Chalk Rider, and it's in black. It's just a creamy crayon, exactly like this, different name brand. So I hope you liked the project. I know it was a little bit different with me starting to talk to you and then having you listen to music and then um, getting back to the end here. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you have questions or concerns, please let me know and I will um, answer those in the description below. You can always email me or message me and you'll always find me in our Facebook group, which is Everything Paper and Glue. We would love to have you, and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and help me grow. I'll be back on Thursday, and we'll do another project, and we will see where it goes from here. Um, I have nothing in mind. If there's something you'd like to see, let me know, and I will work on it for you. So just finishing up the piece, I'll have pictures at the end. And thank you so much for um, subscribing, commenting, liking, thumbs upping, all of that stuff. Have a great week and I'll see you again on Thursday. Bye now.